Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be going over the spoilers for next week, for March 25th, the week of March 25th, 2024. For all platforms. That includes Nintendo Switch now, everybody. PC, Mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, no matter what you're on, um, everybody has the same spoilers now, so that started last week. And this is the second week of it, so that's cool. We don't have to do a separate spoilers for Nintendo Switch anymore. Um, so we'll be getting into that. I'll run some autoplay battles while we read the spoilers so you have something to look at. And then when we're done with the spoilers, we will get into some Vault Event. The Vault Event is going on right now. I hope you guys are doing good. Getting lots of Vault Keys. All right, let me set up the stream here. Erase that description. Description. Put up my thumbnail. Got the new troop on there. We got Journey next week. What do you think about that? <clears throat> what do you think about Journey? That's like a ugh. It's like a ugh. Journey. Because they're, uh, you know, using us as guinea pigs. That's what I like to say. They, they say they're testing it. They're taking a look at it. They're going to make tweaks to it. You know, they're going to let us play it the way it is. They already know that it's not ideal the way it is right now. But they're still going to just let us play it the way it is. Instead of, like, doing what they're doing with Guild Wars and, like, pushing it back and fixing it and stuff. They're just going to let us play it, you know, the way it is. I'll leave it broken. We'll just play it broken. They don't care. You go, Get out there, buddy. Yeah. Get a broken ankle. Go play football. Get out there. Okay, the game. Eh, it's raining. If there's snow, there's puddles on the field. Who cares? There's potholes on the road. Let's go racing. You know what I'm saying? So, let me. Uh, I'll do auto play right now while I'm setting up the stream. How about that? Got something to look at. Maybe I'll get a horde mimic mythic. I got another um sentinel. By the way, I got to show you guys. It was like a few days ago. So not during the Vault Event, of course. I'm not doing Underspire during the Vault Event. That's a no-no. <laughs> Gems of War is the game we're playing. Gems of War is the game we're playing. No, I am not altering footage of a real event or place. No, I am not doing that. Okay, I'll put the intro in. Intro. Intro. Zero, 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 zero. I've been terrible at chapters. With the, with the Vault Event yesterday, it's like that's all we did. So what's the chapters going to be? Uh, I ran a gap here, and I didn't there, and I ran a gap here, and I didn't there. I don't know. So I couldn't really do uh, chapters yesterday. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to jump into the chat. Get ready for that. Refresh. Got the spoilers coming soon. I got Terran's world up. And my computer wants to yell at me. Going to live chat. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. Let's go here. Yeah, we got Journey next week. That's the only event my guild is not completing, I swear. I think there was there might have been one other. I can't remember exactly, but I swear it's just been Journey and that's it. I don't know how you guys are doing with, your, you know, completing events ever since they added the extra rewards and the harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You guys let me know in the in the chat, like, how your guild is doing at completing events to full completion in the last, like, six months or so. Um, my guild has only not completed, like, two. And previously, before Shiny Keys and all that, we were completing every single event, no matter what. It was never a question. Now it's like, I hope we get this done. And Journey's been the only one we didn't complete, I'm pretty sure. Which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. I mean, if that's the one you're not completing, that's like, of course, because it's it's hard. We don't have the loopy Journey troops anymore. You have to use... They give you a, a nerfed Journey troop that you have to use. And then they're making you go further, and they're not... It's harder still. It's like they made it harder, but then they gave us a loopy journey, infinite loop troop that helped us complete that harder journey of it. So they took away the infinite loop troop that was helping us complete that harder journey of it, but they left the journey the same difficulty, which that's not how it should go. Like, 
It kind of happened at the same time. Like, they introduced the loopy journey troops, and then pretty soon thereafter, they made it harder with the shiny keys, the more rewards, you gotta go further to get all rewards thing. And then we had the infinite loop journey troops to do that. Like, the first two journey troops were not the infinite loops. It was like Hawthorne and Deathclaw. And then they introduced the shiny keys, and then the infinite loops. Or it was like the infinite loops and then the shiny keys. I can't remember exactly the timeline, but it was very close. So it was it worked out. You know, we got these easy, we got these awesome troops that can help us get further in the journey event so we can get it done. Even though it's harder now and you got to go further and get more miles and more rewards. So it kind of worked out that way. But then they're, they, they messed it up by nerfing those troops. Which I think needed to be done, but they also should have fixed the journey event. They say they're going to do a tweak, like there's a forum post. They're going to do a tweak this week. We'll see how it goes. Like, I still think we're guinea pigs and it's going to be hard. Like, whenever they do a tweak, it, it, they're not even telling us what the tweak is. So to me, that means it's not going to fix it. Because when they tell us... If they were, like, if they were confident in whatever tweak they were doing, they would just tell us what it is. And then we could, like, agree or disagree. They're keeping it to themselves, which means it's probably nothing too special that they're tweaking. It's not a nipple or anything. It's Neophytes here. Ivy, Ali, good to see ya. Oh, will you stop it? Stupid laptop. Stop it. What are you doing? It's got a mind of its own. I think I need to delete a bunch of pictures. That might be the problem. I'm gonna do those thumbnails. I upload, I download pictures from Terran's World, and I never delete them. So I have like a billion pictures on this thing, and I don't know if that makes it slow or probably does. All right, hit that like button, turn in your tickets. That'll get more people here. Pretty much directly correlates. That's my word this week. Correlation. Correlate. All right, I'm on the spoilers. I'm gonna run this battle, and we're gonna get started. get started on the spoilers i'll put in a uh well y'all can hear me i'll put a timestamp, a chapter for the spoilers you should be doing the vault event right now don't be doing what i'm doing i'm just reading the uh spoilers so i can't play the game so i'm gonna let let y'all watch this while i do it all right eight minute mark spoilers <clears throat> All right, here we go. Spoilers for the upcoming week of March 25th, 2024 for everybody. PC, mobile, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. Let's see what's going on next week. Weekly event spoilers. We have... We have a journey event. A journey event next week. Uh, it's a Karakoth week. That's a Magic Kingdom. Tuesday, Faction Assault is Durgaroth. Wednesday, Pet Rescue is Gar Lamb from Divinion Fields. Thursday, Class Event is Sorcerer. And Friday, we have a Bounty Event. Bounty's good. You know, just use your Tesla. It's up to you, like, how long you want to use your Tesla, but... Or your Red Macaco or your Queen Beatrix. It doesn't have to be Tesla. I just think Tesla's the best. You might even use Stellarix? I don't know. But Tesla is pretty good. It's easy to fill, and it, it, it one-shots pretty deep, and then you just have to two-shot later. It's way better than using four bounty troops. But, you know, you got to use the Captain. you got to use three bounty troops with Tesla, and then eventually you have to switch into four bounty troops with the captain, but that's not until, like, Sunday or Saturday, somewhere around there. Alright, so it's a Karakoth week, so Karakoth Underspire, Karakoth Epic Trials. There's a new campaign starting up. So I'm gonna click on Karakoth, I'll let you know, uh, event key drop table and weapons in the Soul Forge. That's what I can tell you. Knowing that it's a Karakoth week next week, I can tell you what's gonna be in the event key drop table and which weapons will be in the Soul Forge. All right, I'm going to read all the troops, and then I'll, uh, you know, double down on any that I think are good. Got Aberroth, Acolyte, Arimas, Ancient Horror, Book of Secrets, Corrupt Magus, ABCDEFG, Dark Troll, Deathlock, Draelic, 
Draxius, Eldritch Disciple, Eldritch Guardian, Eldritch Minion, Ferret, Gelatinous Cube, Golem, Green Slime, Hellspawn, Keeper of Lore, Medea, Mizmer, Nether Hound, Sacri Sacrificial Priest, Temperath, the Amethyst Giant, the Elder Dragon, Tome of Evil, Tri Terror, Tzathoth, Uvashka, Vash da Dagon, Vash Dagon. Void Portal, Wall of Tentacles, Warlock, and Zulgoth. Nothing, nothing jumps out to me because Zulgoth is something you can't get with the Vent Keys. And nothing else there really jumped out to me. They're all pretty crappy. That's unfortunate that a Magic Kingdom is going to have crappy mythics. That's kind of how it goes. Um, like, you can't, like, does Silverglade have any good mythics? Does, uh, you know, Karakoth have any good mythics? Does Darkstone have any good mythics? Like, most of the time they don't. I think uh, maybe Zay or uh, Zalkari is probably the best one. That's a Magic Kingdom that has a uh, good mythics. So yeah, I would not throw vent keys unless you're a very specific person that's gonna immediately get a, a stat if you get a mythic. And even then, I, I'd rather see a person get their second Iron Hawk, their third Iron Hawk, their first High King Iron Gut, even like Zalkari troops, Adana troops. I'd rather see you do that than get a mythic, a crappy mythic just for a magic stat. All right, weapons. These will be in the Soul Forge. I'll let you know if any of them are good. We got Dame Nama Nama Nama. We got Dagger of the Void, Doomed Cauldron, Emerald Censor, Grasping Grimoire, Infernal Volge, Lost Grimoire, Memories of Stone, Null Spear. Old Magus Staff, Staff of Madness, Staff of Other Worlds, Tome of Karakoth, and Wizard's Wand. Uh, nothing really there either. I mean, it's a pretty ho-hum week as far as the kingdom goes, except for that it is a magic kingdom. That's the only notable thing about it. The troops aren't good, the weapons aren't good. You're the, Yeah, I know, Allie. Dude, it's crazy. With the gems. That's why I gotta, like, pick and choose what I do. Hey, I got a gnome here. That's nice. <clears throat> Alright, so stay, steer clear of using event keys and steer clear of, of getting weapons in the Soul Forge. Unless you very, like, you need one to do the Underspire. You need one to do the event. Like, you might buy some. It's only 300 diamonds. So, like, the Infernal Volge, for example, might be okay <clears throat> for the events. You're not going to use it going forward after that, most likely. Maybe a little bit. Alright, let's check out the new troops. Let's see if any of them are good. On Monday, March 25th, 2024, from Karakoth, we're getting the Book of Witches. I'm bringing Hexy back. I'm bringing Hexy back. Uh. Arcane Dark, Base Rarity, Ultra Rare, Troop Type, Mystic Constructs, Troop, uh, troop Roll, War Master. It is a uh, Mystic Construct. It's really like a book with a witch hat on. It's got some rope around it. It's like a Mimic-styled book. <clears throat> Cryptic spell is the spell. Curse two random enemies, summon a random mystic. Mana color red, purple mana cost 11. Sounds poopy. Trait number one, inscribed. Trait number two, accursed. Trait number three, song of darkness, summon a dark storm at the start of battle. Also on Monday from Karakoth, we have the cartographer. He's got a bad latitude. Arcane planes, base rarity epic. Troop type human mystic, troop roll striker. Um, that's your journey troop. So the spell is Helping Hand. Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy, then create three purple gems boosted by mystic allies. The shiny spell is Deal magic plus four damage to an enemy, then create four purple gems boosted by mystic allies. Uh, so it just goes up a gem spawn. Like, that's still not enough, though. Like, it used to do way more. Like, Seekra and Todd and all those used to do way more, and now it's just, like, not enough. Mana color yellow, purple mana cost 15. Trait number one is Mystic Bond, trait number two is Warded, and trait number three is Pathfinder. Alright, on Friday, we get a new bounty troop from a Grim Woods called Caribou. It's an elk in a ghillie suit. Arcane Plains, base rarity rare, troop type beast, troop roll, generator. Uh, the spell is safety in numbers. Create eight green gems. Summon zero to three more caribou. What if it summons zero? What is that? When has there ever been a spell that summons zero? That's strange. 
Mana color yellow, purple, mana cost 12. Might be okay for like Ogress. You put the green on the board, then you explode it with Ogress. I don't know. We have to use it. You're probably never going to use it again, though. Trade number one, Bounty Hunter. Trade number two, Beast Bond. Trade number three, Nature Link. So we got, like, nothing good. Nothing really. Like, that Glory Shop Troop is trash. The Journey Troop is nerfed. And the Bounty Troop we're never going to use again. It's trash. So not anything good there for troops. Not even anything that you could say maybe, like, we got to see. Like, maybe. No. They're all terrible. Weapon spoilers! Are we getting any cool weapons? Monday, March 25th, 2024, from White Helm, we're getting um, Amateel's Wing. Rarity Legendary. Did I get another verse, or was that the same one? It just took forever. I think it was the same one. Amateel's Wing! Rarity Legendary. Weapon type bow, weapon roll, striker. Mana color yellow, purple. Mana cost 14. Deal. Magic plus 3 damage to an enemy. Boosted by Angel Gems. What's an Angel Gem? You guys know what an angel gem is? What can an angel gem be? I'm trying to think. Maybe it blesses you. Do we have a gem that blesses yet? I bet you that's it. Angel gem. Put your guesses in the chat what an angel gem does. If you know, if there's a place where they told us what it does, let me know. That way I can tell everybody else. But right now, just guess in the chat. My guess is that it blesses. It's an angel gem, so the closest thing to angel is bless. So I'm guessing it's a blessing. What's up, Livewire? So yeah, deals magic plus three damage to an enemy boosted by angel gems, then create two angel gems. It has no perks yet. It's probably gonna have perks, it just has, it doesn't have them there yet, even though it's two days from now. Also on Monday, from Karakoth, we're getting Emerald Sensor. Rarity Legendary, Weapon Type, Mace, Weapon Roll, Striker. Mana Color, Green, Purple, Mana Cost, 14. It deals Magic plus 4 damage to an enemy, boosted by Purple Allies and Mystic Allies. Um, usually those aren't good. You don't want to use that kind of weapon. The perks aren't there yet, so I can't tell you the perks. I'll click on classes just for fun. There are no classes planned in the future. Kingdoms, they have nothing. It's just Kingdom 3, Kingdom 4. Um, pet spoilers. Yeah, live wire. Catch up on that. Wednesday, March 27, 2024, from Divinion Fields. Gar Lamb is coming to the game for Easter 2024. That is a pet that is a lamb with Easter eggs on its head. That's silly. It's a silly pet. How are those eggs staying on its head? I don't understand. Pet color green effect cosmetic. So that'd be a good um, candidate for a minion, uh, uh, one of those pet orbs. Last thing is Max Kingdom Power. <laughs> Max Kingdom Power. Do we have anything here? It says Karakoth goes to Kingdom Power 30. I've heard little tiny rumors about us not having enough weapons to make that happen, though. White Helm Kingdom Power goes to 29. So don't get super excited about Karakoth Kingdom Power going to 30 because, you know, it may... Like, I guess it's technically possible, but there's some some rumors about a weapon not being available, at, or it's hard to get, or something like it's some, You need a certain amount of weapons to get to power 30, and like it's not possible unless you did a rain dance three years ago. I just got a text. Hold on a sec. My daughter's going to her grandma's today, and I got to make sure... One sec. But that's the spoilers anyway. We're done with the spoilers. So we're going to move on to the Vault Event. 
So just to, you know, summarize this, the spoilers for you. We got the journey event. It's going to be difficult. It's a nerfed journey troop. There's more rewards. You got to get more miles. It's going to be super hard. Um, so if your guild doesn't get it done, I wouldn't, like, kick anybody out over it. Because even, like, high-level guilds aren't getting it done. <clears throat> Supposedly they made a tweak to it. I'm hoping this tweak is noticeable and not just something stupid that we don't even notice. Um, we got a bounty on the weekend. And it's a Karakoth week. Which is a Magic Kingdom. I think that's the most notable three things. And which isn't very much. There's no awesome weapons. There's no awesome troops. There's no sweet event or anything. It's just kind of a boring week next week. Except for the Chatathons next weekend. So that's cool. That's probably the most exciting thing happening next week is the Chatathon. Probably Saturday morning, maybe Sunday. Put up a poll or something. We gotta start promoting it, because it might be a week from today. The Chatathon, you know how it goes. Alright, so let's get into this. Let's play some bot event now. Let me put in a chapter that the spoilers. Oh no! Almost dropped my controller. <laughs> Tribute. Okay. Vault. 22. <clears throat> Feeling a little bit better today and a little bit better mood. Uh, not as sick. So that's good. I won't say I'm 100%, but I'm probably getting there. So I'm happy for that. Alright, let's address the chat. You guys have been sitting there listening to me. You probably already heard these spoilers, if I was to guess. I gotta do it anyway, though. I'm covering everything in the game, no matter what you've already heard or not heard. Because there are some super loyal people out there that only watch me. Alright, we got Neo, Ivy, Ali, Livewire, Chad, Effley. We got Trey. How's it going, y'all? Chad running out there. Butt crack is showing. Rag in his back pocket. Trey is trying to help. He's got the suspenders. He can't figure them out, though. He's trying to get them out of the package, but it's hard to open. So they're out there trying to figure it out, y'all. Trying to get that thing started. Trying to keep those doors open, those lights on. When are you going to stop supporting Cynical, guys? Who would even ask that question? That's like pissing me off. Neophyte's here right now. It's not about you, dude. It's just like you said that. And I'm like, who would even ask that question? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a horrible thing to ask. That's a horrible person right there. Who even says that? It's crazy. Like, why are you even thinking that? Like, you're hoping I dis Like, you're hoping I quit? That's crazy. Probably because dude's getting sick of posting videos every day, 50 times a day, to try to kill me. He's getting sick. We're like outlet. We're like a roach that won't... We can't kill us. I'm like a wart or a roach or something that won't go away. Alright, let's see where we're at. You guys know... Oh, I want to show you this real quick first. Just that I got that other sentinel. So I only need one right here, Elemental. And Demonic. Just two Sentinels left. This is my entirety of my unowned. I can't even go down any further. I only unowned... There's only eight troops that I don't own. Like, this is just like... You don't have to, like, believe me when I say things. You don't have to, like, is this guy any good at the game? Like, this is, like, where I show you. Instead of just telling you. I show you. These are the only troops I don't own. This is it. Free to play. So two Sentinels. Somehow I'm doing it right in the Underspire without even doing the entire thing. I think I'm getting kind of lucky, though. <laughs> like, I'd have to say with that, I'm getting a little bit lucky. So I, only, I only need two Sentinels now. I got four unique Sentinels. Got a Tarot card that's probably not even available yet. And if it is, I'm probably going to get it soon because I'm getting a bunch of alt keys right now. Or Mimic Mythic, I'm going to have to, like, try to get it. I'm, I'm not trying right now, so of course I don't have it because I'm not trying. Kronos is probably available, but I'm kind of waiting till Drifting Sands comes through. I got a bunch of event keys. I almost have, like, 10,000, I think. Or no, I use some, so I probably have, like, five or six, I think. But I have enough to get it, and I have patience. 
So I'll probably wait until Drifting Sands comes around, maybe. Or I can get, uh, maybe I'll get it randomly by opening Glory Keys or something for gems. King Storm Guard's probably not possible at the moment. Midnight King, I might have to wait till midnight. Or just get it randomly through Glory Keys. Valhawk, I don't even know if that's possible. Maybe it's pretty soon. Same with this. These two I'll probably get pretty soon. Either th either these two or, or these two. It's probably the next thing I get. I just wanted to show that because I got a random another Sentinel like two or three days ago. Yeah, I don't know who it was, but Neo was the one that brought it to us. That somebody was asking Neo when he's going to stop supporting me. I mean, that's a weird question. That means somebody's getting sick and tired of me. <laughs> that makes me, like, almost happy. Like, they're they're having to ask that. They're getting sick of me. Like, they thought I was done. You guys keep me going, though. All right, the other thing we're going to look at is up here. We want to see, like, how we're doing. As far as gems go, you know, I started with 6,069 gems. My goal is to maybe get to around 7,000 by the end of the weekend, just by doing the vault event, norm like, properly. We're on our way. I don't know, if, like, how many have we got so far? I guess, like, 300. So that seems about right. We've got, like, 330. That's perfect. That's, like, a, a third. There's three days of the vault event. I had, six th I had 6,069, which was easy to remember. And I've got 330 whatever which is a third so by the time we're done with the vault event i should have seven thousand gems which is almost a thousand just indirect like as we're doing it gold i just gave a bunch to the uh, guild tasks because they got the uh guild event done and i didn't have to do my share so i gave extra gold to the guild tasks I think that's a thing you should do if you're in a high level guild and like a bunch of people get the guild event done and you only had to do a certain amount and you, you weren't one of the top 10 or something. Maybe give a little bit more to your guild tasks or like give a guild gift to the first place person or something like. I got 104 vault keys. That's a little bit less than I was hoping for, but that's still on track to get my 300 bare minimum. You know, we've had one day so far. That's a third. I'm going for 300. I have 104. That's perfect. <clears throat> as far as the verses go, I'm having trouble a little bit. Like the last, the last like hour or so or so that I've been playing the game. You know, a little bit this morning, a little bit last night. I was falling asleep trying to play this game last night, falling asleep, and uh, I was having trouble getting the verse I wanted. So that can happen. Of it, yeah. Occasionally, you're gonna have trouble, and that's when you run an XP booster or gold booster, soul booster to make yourself more happy. I need this green verse. Freddy Fart Fiddler. Which one is Freddy, anyway? Is that the Slash? With the hat? <clears throat> Alright, I already did Dungeon. I already did Adventure Board. I didn't want to have to mess with it. Cinema Raj is the best kingdom to... You know, it's not, probably not the only kingdom. I'm not 100%, but I have no reason to go around checking other kingdoms. So this is what I recommend, is Cinema Raj. I'm a Cinemirage Wild Plains type of dude, because it's almost always you can do one or the other. Why would you go around looking at other kingdoms to see if it works or not? That's a waste of time. If you already know that Cinemirage or Wild Plains works. So it depends where you're at in the game, though. If you're like a beginner doing Rowan and you want to get some Arcane Trait Stones while you do it. Like, Rowan is different. You don't have to go, you know, I'm talking Ironhawk business when I'm talking like don't skip around in different kingdoms and... No, because Ironhawk has to have a very specific, you know, situation. 20, 20 HP or less or 25 HP or less for the enemies on Explorer 1. So it's more like Ironhawk business when I'm talking about Wild Plains or Cinema Mirage. If you got Rowan, you can go to several other kingdoms and you could probably get a certain trait stone if you want and do a certain class. And that's different. If you got Rowan, it's different. You can go look in different kingdoms if you want. Just don't go to a kingdom where they're summoning and doing barrier and doing some merge and all that. If you see that stuff, like, go to a different kingdom. Because that's annoying. Right, we need no turns for you. And we're going to hunt versus until we get a boss chest. And then we'll go do a gap. Let's catch up in the chat, though. What was that? Something just fell... 
Oh, my cord. My power cord's like super loose. I keep jerking it out of the wall. I keep jerking it. All right, Neo says greetings. Ivy says smiley fa face. Neo says my guild isn't even near completing anything. Don't know why they even bother playing this game. You might want to find a better guild than Neo. I know that's not always easy to hear. You either need to find a better guild or you need to get better people into that guild. I've put up videos before about guilds and like what's the signs you're in a good guild or what signs you should find a better guild or I've put out videos about guilds before if you want to if you haven't seen them. <clears throat> Ali says the events are eating all my build up gems and stuff plus the lousy vault key rewards. Yeah, the vault key rewards are RNG and the um events eating up all your gems. Maybe Maybe, um, you know, take a break every once in a while on the guild events. You don't always have to be, like, second place, third place. Like, I see, I see the leaderboard in our guild, and you're, like, always in the top five or top three. Like, you don't have to do that every time. Like, I appreciate it, though. You see me, I'm always in the middle somewhere. I'm never, like, up in the top. Because I just know I can't do that. You kind of got to know your limitations with your gym stack and like people understand like if you're still doing your share but you don't always have to be like top three like journey's probably not a good time to stop doing that we're gonna need all the help we can get for journey but uh maybe the week after that you should take a break off of uh maybe only go to like the second or third potion Ivy says I do a vault event, but I also did sin a lot. <laughs> Livewire says what's up. Chad says what's up. Effley says morning. Livewire, did you hear my little uh, shout out to you there where I went? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't know who it was, Effley. Allie says Baz is being a punk to me. It used to be Cindy for me, but all of a sudden it's been, like, just all of them. <laughs> I don't know who to call out anymore. I don't like any of them. They are, they're taking turns being an a-hole. It's kind of like IRL right now. Like, normally I know who the a-hole is. Now, nowadays, it's like everybody. Everybody's an a-hole. Ivy says, since I'm doing your strategy and finishing chests, I'm at three gaps whole time. Worked wonders. That's good to hear. I always love it when you guys tell me that, you know, my advice helped you. Because I don't know. I, I I can't see. I say things, I shout it out into the void, and I'm hoping people are listening and applying the strategies. And when you guys come back and say, hey, the epic trial advice helped me get them done. Or, hey, the vault event advice helped me get more vault keys. Or... I like the confirmation. Mark says, hello all. Sorry I'm late. You're not too late. You know, we started early today. Started slow. But I can't, I got on here early. So that's why. Chat says, okie dokie. I got to go back to work now. Take care of everyone. And thanks, any drop kick that like button on the way out. You know what the drop kick? Kind of like fall to the ground and hurt yourself. I don't know if everybody should do a drop kick. Maybe some people should do like a thrust kick or something. Or maybe a windmill. Do a side kick. Maybe a crane kick. Donkey kick. Curb stomp. If they do a drop kick, they're gonna... Like, what if Allie did a drop kick? Ivy says, and I'm on the last class weapon now. Which class would you, would you, hard level? I don't need Titan. Um, the first classes the level are like Titan, Elementalist. We can look at it. I always forget. I like Archer. I like Thief. I did a class tier list. I don't know if anybody else... Oh, they did. They did it right after me. I remember that. Just like everything else. Nobody 
keeps track except for me. But I did a class tier list and then the other guy did one like a month later. Like no one had ever done a class tier list ever in the history of the game. And then I did one and then of course a month later the other guy did one too. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% on that. But it was just like one another thing on top of everything else. And I'm starting to forget all the times because it's been so many times. I have my certain examples that I can remember, but there's more. I'm not I'm not saying every single example every time. Like I forget. There's so many I forget. There's a there's some class tier lists out there. They might not have like Spirit Walker or Nightweaver on them because the ones I the one I did was like probably maybe like nine months ago at this point. That's pretty funny though, right? Like nobody in the history of YouTube ever did a class tier list, and, t and then I did one, and then of course you know who did one like right after that. Hmm. I'm not a hundred percent on that though, so I'll stop talking about it because I don't like. I'm not a hundred percent. Dragors here. Yoke says I went three hours last night. And no verse four. Is that normal? Ugh. I would say not normal. That's like bad luck. If you're using Iron Hawks, that's definitely not normal. If you're using Rowan, that's still not normal. Yeah, yeah, you got some bad luck there, I guess. Rowan might take like twice as long as like an Iron Hawk. I'm expecting to get the verse I need in the amount of time it takes me to get a boss chest. And if I'm having bad luck, I expect to get the verse I need in like two boss chests, worst case scenario. And however, how long does it take you to get one or two boss chests? Not super long, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'd say you should get the verse you need within an hour. So yeah, that's way over. The only thing you can do is clear enemies as quickly as possible. Switching kingdoms doesn't help. You just gotta get mad and try to go faster. Ali says they cut the vault key rewards by three quarters, I think. 300 became 124, 124 became... I haven't seen that yet. There is like a three times type of thing, like... Um, a treasure gnome can give you 100, or it can give you 300. Cedric, in, in the epic vault key, Cedric can give you 300, or it can give you 900. <clears throat> it's just like a dragonite gnome can give you 20, or 30, or 50, or 60. Like, they have different roles. I haven't seen anything, like, too bad. Like, it's been the same for me. Ivy says I'm now at 301 and 26 keys, all with Rowan, but I also did all pets. I couldn't resist. Hey, whatever, man. You got a lot of vault keys, so I can't say nothing about that. If you got 300 vault keys, like, keep doing what you're doing. That's a good way. Like, that's a good way to say... If you're going to tell me you're doing pets, which I don't like, tell me that you got 300 vault keys already. <laughs> you know? And I'll say, you just keep doing whatever you're doing, because that's awesome. It's the people that it's the people that got like 50 vault keys right now, and they're doing pets, that I'm trying to dissuade from doing that. Dragger's done 10 gaps so far, so I'm guessing you have around 200 vault keys, probably more. Ali has 470 and 51. 92, 89, 108, 73 will be playing the Paloozas as well. Nice. You're kicking butt too, so you do whatever you want too. Maybe I don't say that enough, but if you're just killing it, you know, just keep doing whatever you're doing. You don't have to, like, change everything because of what I'm saying. You got 470 Valkyries and it's only Saturday morning? Like, you're doing something right. Nice, Livewire. 
Uh, Draker says, sorry to hear that yoke unlucky, but it's happened to me a bunch of times. Livewire says, I hit the like button with hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play the keys on the hardest setting in the vault event. Or the vault key, when you open the vault keys, you wanna play it on the hardest. Like, it's not... I think even a beginner could beat it on the hardest. Just use ferocities or something. All the enemies are red except for Cedric. Supernova says I have 500 vault keys by midnight, but currently 125.10. Still ahead of me. And I believe you. I was trying to have 120 by... I, I get so tired at night. I don't know. I was sick, too. I needed sleep. I went to bed at like 9.30 last night. I felt so much better this morning. Like, my eyes were blurry all day yesterday. I was so tired. Today, it's like way better. I think I'm looking at screens too much. You guys ever have that? Like my Everything I do all day is like with screens. Like I look at this laptop screen or I look at this TV screen. Or I'm looking at my phone. Pretty much all day. I think it's messing my eyes up. Like I go outside and I take a walk and then I'll walk the dog. And then I take a drive around and stuff and... Like, if I'm trying to work, or if I'm playing Gems of War or something, like, I'm just screen, 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 screen. Yeah, dude, I think I got that crap. It's, like, way better today, though. Which which makes it makes me think it's not, like, a permanent vision change. It's, like, I was too... I was tired and sick, and my eyes needed a break. You know it doesn't matter, Ivy? You know that? That's why it's cool. You can play it on the hardest as you want. Because if they run away, you still get the... You still get it. You just have to win. So, okay. So, you got vault keys, right? You're level 500 or something. You got vault keys. You're going to go open those vault keys after the vault event is over. You want to put it on the hardest setting. Because it doesn't matter if the gnomes run away. All, all, the, all three gnomes could run away, and you still get all the loot. That's why it's silly to play on anything but the hardest setting. Because those gnomes are just trying to run away the entire time. They're not even really trying to kill you. It's hard to, like, lose to those gnomes and that Cedric. Like, what's going to kill you, really? Maybe, like, the bomb... Like, he summons in those bomb bots, but they're not even strong bomb bots. He, like, summons in weak bomb bots. So everybody should be opening their vault keys on the hardest setting because those gnomes aren't even trying to kill you. You know, they're just trying to run away. And when they run away, you still get the loot. And that's been a thing for a very long time. They're not... Yeah. If a gnome runs away while you're doing a normal battle that's not a vault key, then yeah, you don't get the loot. But for some reason, when you're opening a vault key, Every gnome can run away and you still get the loot. So there's no point of playing it on anything less than the hardest setting. Sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Thank you, Livewire. Running out there. He runs out there with some sloppy Joes. And then, tr then Trey and Chad are eating sloppy Joes. And now they got their strength up, so they can figure out how to get the suspenders out of the package. And then they put the suspenders on, but they got Sloppy Joe stains all over their clothes. We got Livewire, we got Chad, we got Trey. They're out there eating Sloppy Joes. They're about to try to start it. They gotta eat the Sloppy Joes first, though. They're waiting. They're kind of waiting. They're gonna be eating Sloppy Joes until somebody else runs out there, you know? You guys like Sloppy Joes? If I had a choice between, like, if I could eat anything in the world, I pro probably would not pick a, a Sloppy Joe. But if it's, like, a free Sloppy Joe, I would eat it. Is 
Somebody says we're I'm gonna have we're having sloppy joes tonight. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I'll eat it. It's like somebody makes spaghetti or something. You're not always super excited to eat spaghetti, but you'll eat it. It's good. Like meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs. If you haven't had that in a while. Sloppy Joe's, you just don't want to... Like, if you eat it every day, you get sick of it. And you probably only want to eat it, like, once every six months or something. That's for me, anyway. I know, Sloppy Joe's does sound weird. I was fighting some fairies in EverQuest. <laughs> It's kind of the same thing. Not really, but... Anyway. Sloppy Joes with cheese. Yeah, the cheese... You gotta have some cheese. I can, I can eat them without the cheese, but... If you have put cheese on that bad boy... You start adding stuff to the Sloppy Joe. It's like the sauce I don't like. I like the meat. I like the bread. I'm not a big fan of whatever that sauce is. It's not too bad, though. Alright, we're trying to get to our boss chest. That way we can be as close to zero as possible. So when we run our gap, we're not having any extra little problems. Yeah, dude, try it with cheese. Like, uh... I don't know. I don't like American cheese. What do you guys think about cheese? I think American cheese is disgusting. The one with the, like, plastic on it. The cheap cheese. This stuff's gross. Tastes like feet. Or something. Can't even describe it. You can tell when it's on something, like, ugh. This has got American on it. It's gross. I think some restaurants use that kind of cheese, and that's why I don't like them. It's like the cheese. McDonald's uses weird cheese. Germany? You don't have no Sloppy Joes in Germany? What's the uh, what's the sauce that they put with the Sloppy Joe? I never made one before. Like, I'm always eating, like, something someone else made. Pretty much just ground beef with a sauce that's like a ketchup sauce, almost. Right, Livewire? That's how I feel. There's no way I would eat a Sloppy Joe's two times in one week. But if, I, if it's been six months, I would eat one. I'll probably tear it up, too. It's one of those type of deals. It's really good if you haven't had it in a long time. But you don't want to overdo it because you get sick of it. Yeah, cheddar's good. American's gross, dude. I don't even know why people eat that. I like Colby cheese. Colby, Colby Jack. I'll take either or. I like cheddar. Provolone. I don't like Swiss, though. Swiss is like my other one. I'll eat it, though. It's kind of like a sloppy joe. Like every once in a while, I'll have some Swiss on something. As long as it's, like, in there with a bunch of other stuff. And I don't have to, like, prominently taste that Swiss cheese. It's okay sometimes. Like, I think I don't like cold Swiss cheese. I like it when it's melted. So it has to be on something. With like 50 ingredients. Whereas Swiss cheese is like the 51st ingredient. Then I don't mind it. Like American's so gross. I could probably still, still taste it. Even with 50... Five ingredients. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta go get our sister superior. We're gonna run a gap. I don't know if I got the verse I need, but we have t uh, two gaps, I think, anyway. So we're gonna run one just for the live stream, so.
No, I don't need Iron Hawk. I need Sister. Dummy. Stupid. Wasting time. How are you still wasting this much time on a Saturday? You should already know what you're doing. There's no excuse anymore. We gotta get her, uh, copied. So we don't have to do this again. What? Do I already have her copied? Would I not turn off the game? Hmm. Let's lock her in. We don't have to, but... It's barbecue sauce. Okay. So it's just, like, ground beef with barbecue sauce on, like, a hamburger bun. If you guys don't know what Sloppy Joes are... It's a real, like, ketchup -y barbecue sauce, though. I guess there's probably different kinds of Sloppy Joes, though. Alright, let's go get this gap. We only got two! It's scary. Guess I'll put in a chapter real quick. <laughs> Ivy says mozzarella is better than cheddar and is cheddar's better than the rest. Pepper Jack, not bad. It's another white cheese. I'm not a big white cheese. Mozzarella's good though. I don't know. It's like every other white cheese I don't like. The only orange cheese I don't like is American. Supernova says I use pork and barbecue sauce as my sloppy joe. Oh yeah, you can do pork too, right? It's a lot of times it's ground beef though, huh? Like there's a difference between a sloppy joe and like a um, barbecue sandwich. Like some people call them the same thing, but a sloppy joe I feel is like the ground beef with like the ketchup, gross ketchup barbecue sauce. And then you have like a barbecue sandwich, which is like pork with barbecue sauce. That's way better. That's different. That's like a barbecue sandwich. That's so much better. Like a sloppy joe is something you get at for school, like a school lunch. And it's like ketchup and ground beef. It's nasty. Liver says that orange cheese McDonald's uses is the one that turns black if you light it on fire. I'm pretty sure it doesn't burn. It's like plastic. <laughs> That's probably why I don't like it. Yoke says, should I save up diamonds for times two Ironhawk? Yes! That's the first thing you should do with your diamonds. I did a video, once again, I know I always say that. You ask the question, I answer the question, but then I point you to a video. Just so you can get more information if you want it. I did a video called The First Five Mythics. So everybody in the game can go watch that and know like, which are the first five mythics you should target with your diamonds, with your event keys, whatever. In Iron Hawk, it's Iron Hawk, Iron Hawk, Iron Hawk. But then there's like High King Iron Gut, something else, and then like something else. So that video is out there. I have a lot of first five videos. You know, first five teams, first five mythics, first five class weapons. And then I have a lot of like top five, top ten tier lists. You just got to go look for them. Just type anything you want into my channel. I've been doing this for seven years. I've covered almost everything. Just go Cine cool. Boom, whatever you're looking for. And I probably got it. I even did a deep dive on the Rowan team. Like, the first five Rowan teams. Whatever. Mark! Thanks, any man, for your streams. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here, man. I think we're starting up that engine now. You guys are putting your... your you got the napkins out. You're dabbing the corners of your lips. Supernova says, if you ground up a Joe and put him on a bun, is it still a sloppy Joe, or is that Joe that's sloppy? Doug says Gouda. Ooh. That's uh, bougie, right? I like Gouda. Ali says, okay, Palooza done. I like artisan cheeses. We have a local one that does whiskey cheddar. Yeah, Yoke, just for more information. But yeah, you should get Iron Hawks. Like, if you want to be super patient and do it exactly the way you should do it, you should save up enough diamonds. You should save up like 8,000, put them to the side, and act like they're not there until you get two Iron Hawks. Because then you could do the Vault Event properly. You know, you should get three Iron Hawks eventually, but 
You know, if you're really patient and you save up and you get two iron hawks and then you want to go and get something else, I don't I don't hate it. Cuz you can use two iron hawks and it's pretty good. Like three iron hawks just helps you get the verses quicker. Weren't you the one that said earlier that you were having trouble getting a verse? Well, triple iron hawk really really helps you get it faster. Mark says I missed the spoilers. Any good mythics next week? Nah, there's like no good. There's no mythics. I think it's the week after that we get a mythic. Next week's like the end of the month, and then the week after that's the beginning of uh, April. Next week's pretty ho hum, really. It's like a difficult journey. You got Bounty, you got Karakoth, you got the Chatathon. Uh, Lockdown says So, am I missing anything serious by not doing gaps? I normally do three Paloozas at a time. Oh, uh, you should do one at a time, that, just so you know you can, um,. You know, concentrate on the full 15 minutes. I mean, if you know 100% you're going to be able to play for 45 minutes straight, it's not horrible. But yeah, you're if you're if you're. Am I missing anything serious by not doing gaps? By not doing Noma Paloozas? You should do Noma Paloozas right now during the Vault event. This is the only time you should do them. I'm not sure exactly what your question is. Because you say you're on three at a time, but you said you're not doing them. Gaps and Noma Paloozas are the same thing. Mark says, so I'm sitting here on 12,000 diamonds. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the cycle started over, so you shouldn't have to wait too much longer, Mark. That's super patient. I like it. All right, let's do it. All right, we're on the 57-minute mark. Oh, math. What is that? Thir 12. 12. 30. 1. 12. 30. Is that right? 1. 12. 30. Alright, this is a gap. You gotta have full concentration. Nobody can bug you for the next 15 minutes. Because you're getting all gnomes all the time. And it doesn't stop. You can't, like... Shut the game off. You can't pause the game. Doing Dark Souls right now. There's no pause. Ooh, I got an epic. You see that? That's good. Epics are kind of like the real target of the thing that you want. Like 10, it's really three times a vault key, but it feels like 10 times a vault key. For how rare they are. Dude, you guys, I got a, uh, I got a dash cam. I haven't set it up or anything, I don't know. I just kind of have it right now, I don't have it. You know, I keep talking about doing the YouTube channel about road rage and... <laughs> I just randomly got a dash cam. I didn't even like... I don't know. Mrs. Cinny got it for free for something. She won... She does these stupid... Uh, you know. Uh, Kia update. It's kind of all the same. It needs a bath. It's all dirty. People probably think like... I'm so particular about it. And then I don't wash it. It's had two car washes since I've owned it. And I've only made one payment so far, so... Just, uh... <clears throat> it's due for, a, due for a car wash right now. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. It's all the same, all good. Yeah, that's my idea. I just so many people suck at driving around here. Like I know I could capture some crazy not crazy stuff. And then add my commentary on top of it. I still what's the like can you put people's license plates on the on YouTube? That's the only thing I've stopping me is like not knowing. Like, what's the... 
Is there any, like, legal repercussions for license plate videoing? I mean, they're out in public. You guys, will, you'll finally believe me about how crazy it is. People suck at driving. It's nuts. If you can um, re-ask your question, Lockdown, I'll, I'll try to help. There's no stupid questions, I swear, because there's people out there that are thinking the same thing as you. And this game doesn't tell anybody anything, really. It's hard to get answers. Allie says, I do a Palooza, then verse hunt till the battles reach one out of a hundred. Rinse, repeat. I also skip Paloozas if I level up. is about to happen. That's great. Sometimes I, re I forget to uh, watch my level. You're really uh, doing it right. If you can see it in public, you can broadcast it. That's the other thing I wanted to... Like, these stupid kids out here, like, just not respecting other people's property. I feel weird, like, video recording kids. But it's because they're being bad, not because I'm weird. I told you guys how they were using cars as the goalpost. Like, the... They are playing soccer... And one car was the goal on one side. And then there was a car like two or three parking spots down that was the goal for the other side. And so they would try to kick the ball as hard as they could. And if they hit the car, they scored a goal. They played that game at least like three times. And then, like, every other kid out here is just throwing stuff up in the air. Like, every time they like they can't control themselves. Like, they have a spasm. They're having a seizure. Like, there's something wrong with their brain or something. They just every, they pick up stuff and just throw it up in the air. No matter what it is. There's a plastic bottle on the ground. Pick it up. Throw it up in the air. Just randomly in the middle of the parking lot. There's a stick on the ground. Grab it. Throw it up in the air. Just randomly in the middle of the parking lot. Here's a rock on the ground. Pick it up. Throw it up in the air. Have a spasm because my brain can't control myself. I need to get my wa the water drained out of there. And the other time, the same kids that were playing the soccer game where they were just drilling cars as hard as they could with the soccer ball... He was chasing his brother and sisters with, like, a giant log. Like, just trying to kill them with it. I think I told you, because he's like a psycho Chucky. With dead eyes. Nah, it's all good lockdown. Yeah, Noma Palooza is the same thing as a Gap. G-A-P. Gnome A Palooza. So for my my advice is to just run one at a time because you never know what's going to happen like the FedEx guy could knock on your door. The Jehovah's Witnesses could knock on your door. You could get an important phone call from your grandma. You could have to take a very urgent dookie. Your dog could just all of a sudden throw up in the hallway. Um, your cat could knock down your coffee, and it spills all over something that your your special artistic doodles of Bill Clinton. You never know, man. 
That's why you do 15 minutes at a time. You make sure everything's good. You like walk around. You check with their hey. You need anything? About to run a, a gap. You good? Are you going to... It's just 15 minutes. That's it. Just 15. But I know as soon as I start this. Ed McMahon's going to be at the door. America's Funniest Home Videos is going to come by. As soon as I start this thing. Old Junior's going to come by with seven pizzas and a 30-pack of beer. Tell you should have answered the door. Your brother-in-law is going to come by with that $300 he owes you. And you're not going to answer, and he's going to say, I can't, I, I try, dude, dude, I knocked on your door like 500 times. I had the $300 that I owed you, dude. But you just didn't answer. So I, I, I lost it. Somebody, I, you know, it's gone now. I tried, though. Really, he was just coming, he was coming by to borrow something. He didn't really have the money. But since you didn't answer, that's his story, and he's sticking to it. They always had something awesome that you wanted. When you don't answer. But when you answer, they just want they just want to borrow something. You but you find that out eventually though. If you got one of those, you got anybody got one of those? Like a brother in law. Every time he comes by he's trying to borrow something or stay at your house for a night or two. When you don't, when you don't answer, though, he had 50 pizzas and a 30 pack for you, or he had the 300 dollars he owed you. But when you do answer, he's asking to borrow your car, or five bucks, or spend the night, or some sugar, some milk, your plunger, pair of socks. It's like every time I answer, dude, like you always, you're always borrowing something, or. But then every time I don't answer, like, you say you have, like, all this cool stuff. So I'm, I, I'm starting to not believe you. Like, I looked out the window, and you didn't have anything. And, like, you just... But you can't say that, because you're not answering on purpose. So you can't tell them that you saw them. So it's a little conundrum. So if you say, if you say, I know you didn't have 50 pizzas, because I looked out the window. Then he knows that you looked out the window and saw him and didn't answer the door. So you don't say anything, but you know, for the next time, they probably didn't really have 50 pizzas. He's just lying. Yeah, you never know, dude. It's like you run a, run a gap, anything can happen. Your brother-in-law could have that $300 he owes you, knocking on the door. That's why you don't do 45 minutes. That's all I'm saying. Like, 15 minutes is a gamble. You got to do it. But don't make it more of a gamble by increasing it to 30, 45, 60. Because you're locked in for that entire time. And the longer you make it, the more likely something's going to happen. No matter who you are. Like, I don't care if you're, nothing ever happens and you're bored and... You never know. Peter Pan could drop by at your window and say he's going to take you to Never Never Land and... Make you uh, young again. Uh, Ali says, Hubby is banned from my game room on Palooza weekends. I mark it on his calendar. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. You're telling me the same story five times, husband. I'm trying to concentrate. Mark and his wife, co they coordinate their gaps so they're running them at the same time so they don't bug each other. Livewire says next time those kids are out there, walk outside with a fake bloody apron and a tray of sloppy joes and offer them some free lunch. I know, I gotta come up with some strategies, dude. 
It's always hard, because you... I don't know. I feel like teenagers are the hardest to deal with. You can't, like, beat them up, because they're kids. But they're also old enough to, like, scheme on you and, like, get revenge and, like... like the young kids probably aren't going to do that. They just get scared. The little kids don't know that you can't beat them up. But you can't. The older kids kind of know. The younger kids, you just go out there and say, Can you please not do that? Can you go down there? And you might buy yourself a day or two until they forget. But... Oh, I had a... Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. <clears throat> I don't know if it was, it wasn't last night, it was the night before. There was some like drunk or high teenagers just laying on laying on the Kia. One of them was like passed out on in the in the in the road. He like he like slumped against I'm telling you, dude, like I have the worst luck. There's fifty thousand cars out there and they're slumped against mine. And I go out there yelling at him. And the one is like, huh? <laughs> Rainbow five. I repeat myself. Oh, yeah. Okay, man. Cool, bro. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry, dude. Dude. It wasn't me, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm, I don't even... And then he, like, fell into the... He just laid there on the concrete. And then Mrs. Cinny went out and yelled at him, and then he finally got up and barely, barely got to his feet. Struggled. Struggled tremendously to get to his feet. And then stumbled away. Yeah, dude. That's why I was mad. I don't care. Like, if you're f over there doing that. Like, you know, I was a teenager at some point. I remember laying in the bathtubs at the mall. They had a display of bathtubs in the middle of the mall, and I just got in them and was laying in it. But that's like nobody's property. That's just like... And I probably shouldn't even have done that, but at least I wasn't at crapping where I sleep. Like I tried to never cause trouble where, I, where, where you lay your head. That's just like something everybody should know. Like, you don't do that. You don't shit where you sleep. All right, we're done with the uh, Noma Palooza. And that's reality, dude. I have video footage of it. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not just making stuff up. They're out there, like, moshing. And then the one kid passed out, like, on... <laughs> he, like, passed out for, like, a minute. Then he got up. Uh, let's see. So... Nothing to report here, really. The gem stack didn't go up very much. Uh, the vault keys, what did we get? I didn't really pay attention. I had 104, I think. And now I have 126. So, I've been getting a decent amount. I didn't get my pity. Hold on. I was super sick that night, too. So, if I wasn't super sick, I probably would have went even harder. But I was kind of like... A little bit light on them because I was like, I had a huge headache and like, I could bear. I was falling asleep and I was falling asleep in my chair, like, with a headache, with a sore throat. And then that had to happen too. I was like, oh, I could barely even walk. I don't know if I got the, had the vid or what. Anyway, um,.
So 128. We had 104. So we got 24 vault keys. That's that's decent. That's right around around what I would expect with the Iron Hawks. Now I'm down to one green verse though. So we really gotta hope we get a green verse as we look for uh, verses now, which is what we're gonna do. I'll catch up in the chat as well. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Go down to I. For me, he's on the right side. What? Where are you at, bro? Maybe I, I do base rarity. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Then he's on the side. There he is. All right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I was naked, that's why. Yeah, the dash cam thing, you know how it goes. I have an idea. I'm either going to never do it, or I'm going to do it tomorrow. Or it's going to take me four months. I know that's like every possibility, but... <laughs> Probably not going to happen a month from now, is all I'm saying, or a couple weeks from now. It's, I'm either going to get a wild hair and do it tomorrow, or it's going to be a while. Because I haven't even put it in the car yet. I haven't even really looked at it yet. We just got it like two days ago. And it was all of a sudden randomly. I didn't even want it. I just, she got it. Gave it to me. Yeah, do the Paloozas till you get close to zero out of a hundred on your boss chest. And, you know, if you're close to a level, that's another thing that can pop something up on your screen. That's extra while you're doing a gap. You don't want that. Got Cindy. I want the green one. You're good to film as long as you're in public. Yeah, I gotta figure something out, Livewire. Like, something that'll make people not want to come over here. I was thinking of smearing poop all over stuff. Or maybe ketchup. Those are my ideas so far. Maple syrup or poop. Maybe something really stinky. But then I have to smell that stinky thing too, so that sucks. There's like an electric box over there that sometimes they sit on. I was thinking about smearing dog poop all over it. But then I'd have to touch dog poop, so... Why has it always got to be like that? <laughs> Mark says, brother-in-law with the money owes ya. Ali says, tell him you don't answer because you were naked and he had no pizza. <laughs> Ivy said, just kidding. Supernova says, you act so weird and crazy, they'll stay away. You have to be in the right mood to go out there acting all crazy. I was mad, Mark. I was also very sick, though, so I didn't, like, turn up as much as usual. Supernova says, dress up like a Jehovah's Witness and talk about the Lord. Dude, that might work. I'm going to go out there and start preaching the Bible to everybody. I'm going to go out there and sell Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> What's something you avoid when you see it? I'm going to go set up a table. But then, like, I have to go, like, I need to be doing other things. Like, I need something that's passive. I need a passive deterrent, not an active deterrent. Mark says, Mrs. Any putting her foot down? Yeah, she did help a lot. We got each other's back.
Laying in back bathtub sounds like a jackass prank. I was probably like 17 being a dummy. Livewire says, can you set the car? Yeah, I can. Yeah. It does have an alarm. It's a weird alarm, though. It, sometimes it goes off and sometimes it doesn't. And I could set it off myself, but... The keys are always, like, way over there, and I have to, like... Sometimes it, if you push it, it doesn't work. I wish I had a better alarm on it. That'd be good. Put a googly eye on your forehead and chant nonsense. <laughs> it's another active one, though. I mean, I could do that every once in a while, but I would love to have, like, a passive deterrent. Dude, that's what I was thinking, Allie. Like, I guess need to clean my gun. Like, oh, answer the... Like, open the door. Like, is that... I'm always afraid I'm gonna get in trouble, though, if I do that. Can't, like, flash your gun at people. Somebody, like, soaping the door and, like, be in my house, but, like, cleaning, cleaning it. Does that count as flashing it at people? <clears throat> Polish the machete? That might work. A giant kitchen knife and just like start licking it. It's all good, Sana. Better late than never, right? Ketchup and poof is a huge gap. <laughs> Ketchup would probably just dry up and then they wouldn't care. Two air horns with a tripwire. We're in America, Ivy. America. Yeah, dude, draw a chalk line. <laughs> My luck would rain the next day. Oh, uh, Mark, what triggers pets if you play in PvP where you can get a pet gnome? Pet gnomes trigger pets. But your guild mates could be triggering, like, our guild. Like, somebody's probably doing PvP and getting pet gnomes. You have to be a very, very... In like, for that to be the right thing to be doing right now... Like, it could be. You know how it goes. Like, if they're... Somebody in our guild could have... 50,000 gems and like not care and all they need is pets in this world like that could be a thing like for them they're doing the right thing they're over there in pvp getting pets i just know that 90 percent of the player base is not that person like the more the most people the people that i talk to have like my, less than 2,000 gems and you should not that's not you you're not that guy you're not the pet guy. The pet guy is a very rare person. But I don't know if they are or aren't, so I was like, I can't say they're doing the wrong thing or not. Like, if they're getting first place on every freaking uh, guild event leaderboard, that means they have like a billion gems, probably. That means they probably don't care as much about vault keys. That means they might need pets more than anything, because pets aren't easy to get. Even though you don't need as many as you think you need. But that's like a completionist. Like, they have everything else in the game except for pets, so they're gonna... Like, now's the time if you... That's like you, um... I'm trying to think. You beat a game, and then you're playing through it again. Now you're beating it on medium, now you're beating it on hard, and now you're playing it again, and now you're going to find all the files. Like, there's a hundred files you're going to find. 
It's kind of like what getting pets during a vault event is. You're getting that 100 files because you already beat the game three times, four times. If you're playing the game for the first time and you're a mid-game player or something, you don't need to be going around and find, finding all 100 files. Merkle. Allie has a rifle for the deer that eat our fruit. Ivy says in Germany we freeing weed on April 1st, but guns never. Anita! Yeah, or activating pet bait, maybe. This would be a terrible time to do that. Sauna with the gifted. Thank you so much. You're a legend. Oh, yeah. Trey and Mark were out there eating sloppy joes. And then Livewire came out there and gave them some napkins to pat the corners of their lips with. And Sauna said, it's time for dessert. Let's put some chocolate syrup in this engine and get it going. Ah, uh, she's a pet person. I mean, they, uh, you know. <clears throat> I think a lot of people are, and the devs know that, so. They love to waste your time. That's like their goal in life. The devs' goal in life is to waste your time. So they're going to put all those cute pets in the game, so everybody chases them around, like chasing your tail. You're just doing, you're just doing what they want you to do. I'm about to level here, so I think I'm gonna go a little bit longer. Ooh, look, a mimic! Could you imagine if I get the horde mimic mythic right now? That would be nuts. Even though I've seen this at least ten times, probably more. So it wouldn't be crazy if I got it right now. It's just like, I'm not trying. If you get it while you're not trying, it's kind of crazy. I think the first one you get, you really got to try for. And then, like, after that, they just start... It's kind of like when you get Stellarix, you get more Dragonite or something. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this Mimic, because I don't have it. I'm going to waste the time. She's this team. Plus, it's fun for the stream. Something different here. What if I get it? That would be exciting. The anticipation of maybe getting it right now. Mm. Uh, keep going. Keep going for the people. What are you doing? All right, they're dead. All right, let's see what happens. Mimic chest, and I leveled up. Two birds with one stone. Dang. Oh, well. I don't think we got the verse we needed either. I've been having bad luck with that. Go all last night and all this morning. It's one way they can throttle you. Slow you down. Because now we're running into a situation where I'm going to be using my last gap if I use it. Pretty sure. That doesn't scare me, like, terribly. See, I got the one... I only got the one green.
It's a live stream though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run it. Like I'll I'll save the boring uh, verse hunting for uh, off stream. I'll let you guys watch the gaps. I've been going an hour and a half now. You know I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go today, but let's at least run this gap. We got the engine started. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna catch up in the chat real quick, then we'll run this Noma Palooza, and then if you have any questions, let me know. Elden Ring tomorrow, I know, like, I should probably be playing Gems of War and be doing the Vault event, but we're really trying to get that game wrapped up so we can then do a new account playthrough. Uh, Sana says, did you hear the devs want our opinion about Guild Wars? Yeah, I think I read that yesterday when we read the, uh, or was that the day before? Whenever we read the, it says on there, like, they have the que the three questions. And I gave my answers. Like, if they want my answers, they can watch my video. So, we went over that, I think. I think you were here. Ooh, Mark got gifted. That's awesome. Ivy says, I've gotten the Horde Mimic fight and did get beaten so hard. Opinion of all players, yeah. Ali, you have a Mimic and Horde team. Livar says, did you hear Kafka say something about a Wand of Stars nerf? They were talking about it in Global. I haven't heard that till you said it right there. It is pretty strong. Anything that's way too strong in the game, you can probably expect a nerf. The only thing I think they will never nerf is Ironhawks because it's so bougie. Like, you gotta have three Mythics or two Mythics and it costs so much and they want you playing the Vault Events anyway. Like, it's detrimental to them if they nerf the Ironhawk, so. But the Wand, like, they're probably thinking ahead to Guild Wars and stuff. Like, Ironhawk doesn't mess with any other event, really. It just makes people play the Vault Event more and that's... So the only thing they'll probably never nerf is Ironhawks. But anything else, like Stellarix, I don't know, I'm doing the thing with my hand where you're like, eh, I don't know. Because they kind of want you to chase the Stellarix too. They want you to want those cosmic dragons, they want you to keep opening eggs, and they want you to keep spending gems in the dungeon, and they want you to keep running out of gems and buying gems with money. Anything that gives them money or makes people play more, they're probably going to leave it in the game and not nerf it. But something like the Wand of Stars, I don't think is making people play longer or giving them any kind of money or anything. So that's a perfect target for them to nerf. And it's way, it is pretty strong. Like, you gotta admit, like, if you have access to every weapon in the game, a lot of the times you're gonna use either the Wand or the Red Macaco. And it makes it so there's no... Like, you don't even have to decide what weapon to use. You're just like, if you need mana, the wand. If you need damage, the red macaco. Like, it's stupid. <clears throat> That's why they nerfed the uh, journey troops. Because it's like, made it to where you don't even need to think anymore. Like, you just push a button and win. You just use... <clears throat> it's like, what weapon am I going to use? Oh, the wand. What weapon is the wand? You know, what weapon is the wand? Like, that's too too strong. Mark says, no way, Livewire. I just got it two months ago. I knew it would happen. I'm about to get Stellarix soon. I, s I think they'll they'll nerf the wand before they nerf the Stellarix. Just because what I said. Not sure if it's definite, Livewire. I know, Allie, dude. Like, that would have been if I was, you know. Because I, I played the first one on the channel. So you would think I would play Rebirth, too. But... Like, it wasn't super successful on the channel, so I'm not super excited to play it on the channel. Like, I'd love to play it just for me. Because I like Final Fantasy. I, I, I love, especially 7 and all that. And, like, tactics and all that. Like, Effley was in a gap. Well, that's a good excuse. 
Uh, Ali says if they nerf too many more things, I might quit. Supernova says Gems of War is becoming Neverwinter. That's so sad. Money and nerfs. Yeah, you're the one that used to play Neverwinter. I always forget that. Like, I played that too. I wasn't, like, amazing at it, but I got a bunch of classes to max and, you know, played it for a while on the channel. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to wait till 36, and then we'll uh, know exactly, like, 51 will be when it ends. In case I want to, like, get the full drop from something. It's the only reason I do that. If you're looking for Dragonite, you got to do that every single gap, though. You got to set a timer and know exactly when it's ending. All right, here we go. When this is done, I might be done with the live stream. We'll see what happens. We got a Valky. What's up, Vans? There's a Dragon I know, but that's way too early. When you got a Dragon I know, you gotta like kind of keep your eye on the board, look for yellow, brown, green. You're gonna have to take some uh, mana. Like, be thinking ahead when you see a Dragonite gnome. Unless you're doing Rowan. Rowan will probably wipe it out. Al, you got two dragons. You been buying the dungeon offer every day? That's a hard decision to make, because it's a lot of gems. And, like, it, it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get it. It's just, like... I didn't even buy the dungeon offer every day. I couldn't afford it. Until I until I had all the dragons, that's when I was like, I gotta... Now I have to, because... I'm going to speed this up. And having a channel and stuff kind of makes me want to get stuff faster, too. Like, so I can show it. If I didn't have a channel and I was free to, and free to play and everything, I'd probably still not have Celerix. I probably would have kept trying for perfects and. Yeah, Caustic Life. That was a. Uh, if you're talking about the Red Macaquel, that's um. I always forget how they got it, but it was some sort of pay thing, and now we got to get three weapons, and they haven't done any of those kingdoms yet, so we haven't been able to get any of the weapons yet. We have, we don't have none of the ingredients. So, even though you took a whole year off, we're both in the same spot on that one. Isn't that crazy? I think that weapon's been out for a good four months now or something, at least. And me and you are in the same spot, even though you took a whole year off. Might be longer than that. I can't even remember when it came in. Oh, uh, you have five of the dragons for Diamantina. None of the ones for Stellarix. You have 6k Dragonite. Should I keep pushing to get Diamantina first? Or should I go for Stellarix? It's always a hard question because Stellarix is better than Diamantina. But since you're so close to Diamantina... And you got 6,000 Dragonite right now? Like... I bet you you could get Diamantina, and Diamantina will be useful until you get Stellarix for sure, and that might take months. So my personal advice would be to keep going for Diamantina, just because you got five. You got five. You only need one more. Like, when you get to the three and the four area, it's harder to say for sure. But when you got freaking five of them, and you just need one more, and you got that much Dragonite, and you can go open a bunch of eggs right now, like... I think you should try for Diamantina. Because it's almost, it's just right there. It's a nipple hair under the Stellarix. Like, it's a really good troop. If Stellarix did not exist, Diamantina would be the best troop in the game. So you're not going to feel that bad, you know? Like, you got a Corvette instead of a Lamborghini or something. I hate this Corvette. It sucks. It's 
too fast. It's too sexy. Anita with the gifted. You're a legend. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. So the engine is for sure started now. It's got to be something else, too, right? So uh, we're revving it, annoying the neighbors. Now we're just sitting in our, spark our parking spot, revving it up for no good reason. We're kind of pretending like we need to do that for something. Like, it's something's wrong. Like, when, when people do that, you, you figure something must be wrong with it. Like, they have a piece of junk. So they have to, like, rev it up for some reason. I get, well, it's going to stall if they don't do that. You know? Like, I remember having a crappy car where the heat would only work if I, like, push the pedal a little bit. Like, warm it up. Yeah, I don't know. So that's how it felt anyway. And it was like when it's really, really cold out. I might like do the RPMs up to like 2,000 or something. Like I wouldn't like rev it loud or anything. I'd just like, you know, like trying to get the heat going. Whenever people are doing that, it's like something must be wrong. Like something's wrong with your piece of junk. That you're out there revving it in your spot. Um, Vans, I think if I were you, I would just open one at a time. Because you don't want to overdo it and then, um, you know, waste any Dragonite. I don't think it helps to open them more than one at a time. That could be... It might make you feel better, and it might seem like it, but... You know, like, if you're going for a Mythic, people open, like, 50 gem keys at a time. That way they don't open too many. Like, they want to make sure they don't use too many gem keys, but... It's kind of the same thing, like... If you want to save as much Dragonite as possible, you'll do one egg at a time. And it's so precious. Like, it's even more precious than keys, really. It's hard to get. It, like, costs a lot of gems and a lot of luck. So I'll do one egg at a time until you get the dragon you need. Because then you're going to need Dragonite for the weapons and, and the crafting of, of Diamantina. You're going to need a bunch of Dragonite still after that. Even when you get the one you need. So if you got 6,000 Dragonite, that means you can open 12 eggs. You should get it. You should get it within that. It took me like 16 eggs. To get Diamantina, I think. And since you already have five, and then you got the ability to open 12 more, that's 17. That's more than it took me. But I've heard of people it taking like 20, but I think if you're opening them back to back to back to back right now, you're probably going to get the one you need. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say for sure. And since you got five of them, and you just need one more, it could take you one. Maybe two, maybe three, and then you get the rat. Maybe you got enough. Then you got Diamantina right now. And it's just a nipple hair weaker than Stellarix. And then you use Diamantina for a couple months while you're saving up for Stellarix. And it's super useful to you for two, three months. When they buffed Stellarix, they kind of over-buffed it. They made Diamantina obsolete. It, was, it sucks. They should have left Stellarix... They really should have left Stellarix the way it was. Because it had its... It was still good. It was still... They both had their spot. Before they... Before they, before they buffed Stellarix, Diamantina was still useful to, for one-shotting. Like, it did more damage than Stellarix. And Stellarix was still good when you couldn't one-shot. Because it was loopy. So they both had their spot. But then they buffed Stellarix, and now it does more damage than Diamantina. So you never want to... If you have both, you're never going to use Diamantina now. They're the same typing. They're the same colors. And Stellarix does everything that Diamantina does better. So when are you ever going to use it? Never. 
It was kind of dumb of them. If they were both useful still, then everybody would want to get both of them. And then everybody would be spending more gems and getting more Dragonite. As it stands, you could just get Stellarix and never get Diamantina and it would be okay. You wouldn't even need it. I guess their thought process is like Diamantina was out for so long. Most people probably already have it. So now we're going to make Stellarix super strong so people... It gives them more of a reason to go get it. I don't know. I got Diamantina right before they put out Stellarix. Like, I swear they watch my channel sometimes. Like, I'm the gauge. I'm their secret little gauge that they use as to when to do things. Like, he's free to play. So we can tell when it's possible for a free to play person to actually get Diamantina. So he has it now. Let's put out another one. That means everybody should have it, right? If the free-to-play guy got it. That sounds like the Truman Show main character syndrome, but I am on a... I am putting out public videos that anybody can watch. And when I got Diamantina, I definitely tooted my horn. Made it be known. Come on, dummy. Come on, dummy. Yellow, brown, green. Yeah, just let us know, man. I wouldn't do it right now. I'd keep doing your vault event. Even though that doesn't take very long. So if you do it, let us know. Be exciting to hear if you get it or not. But for me to give super responsible advice, I'd probably tell you to wait till Monday. Keep doing the vault event. <clears throat> but good luck. Ooh, Anita got their second Ironhawk. Nice, congrats. That is a really good uh, spot to be in. That second one is 90-something percent of the battle. You know, the third one's just a little bit of, uh, like, it's needed, but not as needed as the second one. Third one's like the icing on the cake or the cherry on top. Like, I still don't know where to slot the third one in the top ten mythics, you know? Like, is a third Iron Hawk more important than a your first High King Iron Gut or something? Are there mythic pets? Um, not exactly, I don't think. There's, like, pets for mythic troops, and then there's... You can fully ascend a pet and make it mythic, but I don't think... Like, pets don't really work like that, I don't think. They all start... What do they start at, even? Like, rare or something? They don't even start at common, do they? But nah, like, pets don't do work the same as troops, I don't think. It's It's, it's similar, but... That'd be cool, though. They should do that. Make a boss pit. Yeah, pets start with level 5, so that means they're, like, rare or something. They should do something else with pets. That would be their sm the smartest thing they ever did. Like, Diamantina was a good idea, and, and Stellarix was them doubling down on that good idea. Because they know we like dragons, and we like pets, and we like, you know, opening a random egg. And The other thing people like is pets. They did the starry pets, but they made you do, like, a super hard battle to get them, and people don't like that. I need to make the pets do something else. Those are like when they did the uh the, the specific pets for specific troops, that was kinda cool. The pets need to have a spell or something. They jump in and like randomly attack the enemy or something. That'd be sweet. Like depending what on what pet you have in your shoulder, they have like a spell. And it can't be anything super strong, but 
And maybe it's random when it goes off. You can't really control it, but... I don't know. Like, say your pet will randomly enchant one of your troops once a battle. It jumps out there, it waves its wand, and now your third slot is enchanted. Or whatever, you know? Oh no, wifey's calling. And I'm in the middle of a gap, of course. How much time do I got left on this? Forget what I said. You guys remember what time I said? It was like 52. Like a minute away. I'll just call her back. Oh, we're done now. Sweet. Alright, hold on a second. I'm going to answer this. Alright guys, I gotta go. She's sick. She tried to go to work. And she's gotta come home, so. We're gonna end it we're gonna end it there. I can't leave her hanging. Um Let's let's check real quick. I told her it might take me like five minutes, so. Um I accidentally set my home kingdom to Cinema Mirage. Make sure you don't do that. Set your home kingdom to White Helm. Oops. Oh, let's look at our stats real fast. You guys have anything? Put it in the chat. I gots to go. It's nothing to do with anything except for that she needs to be picked up, so. Alright, we're almost halfway to 65. 100 gems. We got 156 vault keys. We started the day with 104, so. You know. Was that 52 so far today? I need to get at least 100 today, so I'm halfway there. Not bad. Now we have zero verses, though. That's going to be the problem. I ran out all my verses. Now I have zero. I'm going to have to. I have to hunt verses now, no matter what, until I get that green one. So I'm going to be running triple Iron Hawk, probably with my PB. This is why I saved. This is why I saved this. For for a situation like this, I have that ready to go. I just got to collect it. And then I get my gold and soul boosters and stuff, and that'll make me feel better about just doing triple iron hawk hunting for verses. Because then it'll be giving me extra gold, extra souls. It'll, you know, put a little salve on that wound or whatever you say. A little aloe. For how boring it's gonna be. It'll make me feel better. But yeah. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me today. I'll, fin I'll catch up in the chat, too, but... Dr. Mop, Sauna, Ivy, Ali, Anita, Vans was here today. Caustic Life back in action. We got Mark, we got Sauna, we got Vans, Anita. Sauna, Livewire, Anita with the Gifted, thank you so much. Vans, Ali, Effley, Livewire, Ivy... Sauna with the gifted. Thank you so much. Legend. Uh, Mark Alley Ivy. Livewire. Supernova. Hope you're doing good, Supernova. 
Uh, we got Lockdown FR. Yoke the Ham. Doug Marsh. Mark with the two. Thank you so much. Got Ivy. We got Livewire. We got Sloppy Joes. We got Live <laughs> Livewire with the Sloppy Joes. That was a little conversation. Dr. Mops was lurking. Um, F. Lee. Chad with the two. Trey with the two. Yeah, it won't let me go back any further than Neo, Ivy, and then Allie. So, they may or may not have been the first people here. DC with the 10. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. You're a legend. Oh, yeah. That's the managing moderator, by the way. There's only one of those. He says, howdy, Cindy Cohen, all you sinners, choir members, and lurkers, too. Appreciate you all. Be well. Be excellent. Stay safe out there, everyone. Be kind and wipe the snot off that sniffy like button. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got kind of a sniffy, sniffy like button today. Appreciate it, dude. You're a legend. Uh, but yeah, Vans, I would just buy one at a time. Just to make sure you don't use, overuse Dragonite. Because if you open, like... Five. You might get the dragon you need in the first two or three, and then you just wasted a couple. Pure luck? Yeah, that second Iron Hawker. Palooza update 161 Vault Keys, 14 Epics. Times three already, and I have 27 Verse sets. Wow. You keep getting the same two dragons, Alley. That sucks. Yeah, Caustic Life. You got to get these three. You got to get like the Dread Archibus, the blah blah blah, and the blah blah blah. And you just got to wait till the right kingdom comes through, and then they'll be in the Soul Forge. You'll get them. We got to get three different weapons to make the Red Macaco, and we have to wait till three different kingdoms come through. So it's going to take three weeks at least. And we haven't seen any of them yet, so it could take even longer than that. It's already been months. So even when we see the first weapon, it's going to at least be another couple weeks, and that's if we're lucky. And it's probably not, it's probably going to be longer than that. I love that you love the stream, Vans. 0.001%. 0, 0. Yeah, Hiking Iron Gut is good for, like, underworld stuff. It's good. It's good all around these days because the Bane of Mercy. And it's good with, like, CT. It's good with Zul'Goth. Like, Hiking Iron Gut is up there, man. It's, it's been a top five mythic since it came into the game. Like, and still hasn't... Nothing has really replaced it because it's so good at killing things that are super high level. Like, stuff can get so many stats that Stellarix can't kill it in one shot. But you can never... It can never get so many stats that Hiking Iron Gut can't devour it and then have all of its stats so there's like always there's always a place for the high king iron gut ally says they should have special boss pets that boost your hero stat if you wear them he has something yeah wait till monday vans i mean if you can have a good weekend ivy yeah i know everybody's freaking sick in my house Best way to use the double gold boost, I think, is PvP. Like, I just, it doesn't, to me, it, it's just like a thing to make whatever I'm doing better. Like, I'm never trying to make that gold and soul booster, you know, the best it can be. But I think, technically, it's best to use it in PvP while you're using, like, a Stellarix or something, you know? Like, if you really want to get the most out of that gold booster, pretty sure it's PvP with Stellarix, but... Like, just use it to give yourself motivation whenever you're, like, grinding, I feel. I think Vault Events or Guild Wars when you have the extra... Or that's the XP booster, but I don't know. I like doing it during a Vault Event because you're already grinding anyway. And you're going to be, like, killing... You're going to be cycling enemies and doing battles so fast that you might as well... The, you're doubling the gold, like, battle, 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 battle. Instead of, like, one battle, you're doubling it. And then you're taking you a minute to do the next battle, doubling it, like... You know, you're doing so many battles, like, so quickly that you're... And you're doubling the gold every time. 
Like, it feels good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like doing it during the Vault event. I don't know if it's the best, but... Alright, y'all. I better get out of here. No problem. You guys are the best. Have a great one. I gotta go get her. So, if I'm... If it seems like I'm being short, I'm sorry. But she's sick at work, so I gotta go pick her up. And I don't want to be the other way, like streaming while she's you know so i'm gonna get out of here you guys are the best thank you so much peace out i'll see you tomorrow for that elden ring if you want to watch it you know like 10 a.m we're um we are what are we doing oh i beat that boss i'll put that video out hopefully today or tomorrow morning so you can watch me beat that boss then we're gonna go through the portal and see where that takes us and it's got to be somewhere like the end of the game so anyway we'll see you peace out good luck